Hello YouTube. So I've been asked how I actually paint the flesh on my um, iron hands. Now it's the same way I do my um, dark old flesh. If you can see this guy, it's a very very pale flesh colour. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly paint up the head on this guy. Um, I made this up to be a um, Primus Medicare for me iron hands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this up, show you how it's done. Now I use these five paints, matte black from Army Painter, matte white from Army Painter, Barbarian Flesh from Army Painter, Elfric Flesh from um, Vallejo and Ghost Grey from Vallejo. Pretty simple, I do like to keep things quite simple when I'm painting, don't like to go to um, too much detail. So first thing I always do is the eyes. Now people say it's a bit strange painting the eyes first. I find that when I'm painting, if I paint the eyes first, see if I can do this on camera, yep yeah, I'm on camera, it doesn't matter if you make a hash of it because you've got black in the background and fix it, you just repaint over the top of it and do it again. If you've already painted the flesh, then you have to repaint the flesh, which is, to be honest, an ass. So first thing I do, oh, you can get this on camera, uh, is a white line where the eye goes. We're going to show up. There we go. Let's move the lamp a bit. And then, very, very thin black line down the middle. Probably not the best amount just to do this on, but. Just drag the brush up, you've got an eye. It's much easier painting around the eye than it is painting the eye afterwards. So, first thing to do. Give the whole thing a coat of Barbarian Flesh. I find this is a nice um, tone to start off with. Uh, apologies if I do go off camera at times. It's not particularly easy painting things in detail when you are um, leaning halfway across the table. And my eyesight isn't the best at the moment. Ah, I've been doing this a few years ago. Move it, move it down a bit. So basically, give it, give it a nice coat of barbarian flesh. working your way around where you've painted the eye. As I say, it's easier going around the edges than it is painting the eye afterwards. Still on camera, oh, it's gone out of focus. We're gonna try and focus again. But as you can see, just working my way around it. Give it a, a nice try and get it an even coat. May need a couple of coats to get a, a nice smooth finish. I'll leave that to dry for a little while. So as you can see that's the first coat on. It hasn't gone on particularly brilliantly, it's still a bit wet, so I'm going to leave that to dry and I'll be back once that's dry. So I've given that a bit of a, another coat and I've neatened it up off camera. As you can see, I have a, 
half decent coat on for flesh. Next thing I do, 50-50 mix of Barbarian flesh and the Elfric flesh. Give you a mid-tone for the flesh. Actually a bit more than that. So you want sort of that colour. And then work over. Don't do the whole of the flesh though. You want to leave the recesses in the darker flesh colour. So use the um, the sculpture of the model to actually work out where to go. Are we still in focus? Yes. Again, try and get a, a smooth coat on. I do like to try and keep things as simple as possible when I'm painting. The more complicated you make things, the, the longer it takes to paint, the more it, the more difficult it is to actually reproduce when you're doing a, a whole army. So if you can keep things simple makes it a lot easier when you're doing a, a mass amount of painting of the same type of models. And if you've painted as many dark holes as I, as I have, you kind of get used to doing the flesh. So as you can see, we now have a much paler look to the flesh. Once that's dry, move them away, won't be using them anymore. You go on to the ghost grey from Game Colour. Now this is almost white, but it does have a bluey tinge to it. Now the bluey tinge does help to make things look more. Um, what's the word? Well, it looks, makes it look paler. So mix a little bit of that with the colour that you've already you've just mixed up to give your flesh a, a bluey, tingy flesh. And then, same again, just work over the raised areas, leaving a little bit of the last colour showing underneath. Am I still in focus here? Looks like it. There we go, getting more to the colour that we want. And then finally once that's dry, just use a little bit of the pure ghostly grey. And do a final highlight over the raised areas. Don't do it all over the top of the head though, if it's got a bald head. Just kind of work your way around the edges.
And there we go. That is the basics of how I paint the flesh on my dark elves, my iron hands, and lots of other bits and pieces. Anything I want a, a pale flesh, that is my pale flesh mix. Okay, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you all in my next video. Bye for now.